I think a lot of maybe veterinarians in your situation might look at their uh, career and look at their family and feel like they had to compromise. So was that difficult to kind of craft a, yes. a non-traditional path forward? It, it was It was difficult and it was scary um, because it's not the norm. Um, it's, it's very new. In fact, when I, when I started my concierge practice a little over two years ago, there was a group of about 10 of us that kind of talked back and forth and I used them as my board of directors to kind of help set it up using their success and their pitfalls to help build mine. And I think that's important when you make any life decision is to get input from several people you respect. Now it's a group of almost 50 of us around the country that are boarded surgeons that do what I do and we talk back and forth and, and that's really nice to have that kind of sounding board. Um, but it's change and it's scary. Um, my, my thing is that I am getting to talk to people, I'm t getting to talk to my clients, I'm doing the follow-up, I'm feeling appreciated every day, and I am not cutting any corners. I'm very clear that I treat my patients as if they're my own. So there's nothing low, low income, low quality of what I'm doing. My drills cost $40,000, it's more than my car. Um, so I don't, I don't cut corners. I do sciatic blocks, I do topical recovera, the transdermal recovera, the fentanyl. Um, so nothing about it is skimping. So I'm still doing top quality. I do choose my cases appropriately. So I don't have, um, you know, something that needs 24 hour care afterward, things like that. Those need the referral centers, but I'm the middle ground as far as elective. The concierge practice I have, it's a human thing. Humans do it all the time. Concierge practices are so typical in the human world, but they're new for us. Um, I don't like to call it mobile practice because I think when I say that people think I show up with a van and do spay and neuters in the back parking lot. Um, because I do consultations, rechecks, rehab protocols, and advanced surgical techniques that I'm boarded is why I prefer to call it a concierge practice more after the human model. So my client is the vet. I'm here to make it better for them. But yes, it was hard to create. Um, it was a scary first step. I luckily had the support of my family and my husband and some loans. I mean, I had to buy all the equipment. Surgery equipment costs a lot. But in my area, there are boarded radiologists that are concierge. There's a dental specialist that also travels around. Um, there are internists and oncologists that do it as well. So it is becoming more and more commonplace. And the quality of life, I never knew. I never knew that I could be not on call ever as a surgeon. In fact, one of my mentors used to tell me going through vet school that I should be a dermatologist because there are never dermatology emergencies. Um, and uh, who knew? Who knew I could do this?